dead. Please just pick up. You can't do this. He's going to kill you. <sighs> right. I'm going to the Rovers. Just meet me in there, because he could come back here any time. I'm serious, David. I'm scared. I've got the new Tom Clancy on me phone. Why on earth would I want to sit in my own filthy cellar while you read me a story? I mean, what is this, Arabian Nights? Shh. Oh, Lord, what about Rover and all? All her routine's gonna go to cock. It's her walkie time now. She wonder what's going on. I'm not sure she can tell the time. Uh, excuse me, she's a very intelligent animal. Great, then give her a whistle and see if she can unlock the door with her teeth. You know what this is about, don't you? Yeah, you being a sulky kid because I'm moving away. No! It's about Michelle and Andrea organising a surprise leaving do for you without even asking me. It's not a surprise anymore. It's me mum's pub. Do you remember me mum, the one you discarded like a used tissue? No, not this again. We've been through this. Me and Liz are fine. It was just a bit of fun. A bit of fun? A bit of... That's my mother you're talking about, not one of your floozies. You call Andrea floozy? Shut up. You need your Tom Clancy. <laughs> I've got no signal at all now. No, oh, me neither. Could murder a drink. Oh, yeah, me and all. Yeah? Yeah. So what happened? He tripped and landed awkwardly, that's all. What are you lying for? Callum's out. Did he do that? No, my dad did. Trying to stop me going after him. Serda said they'd arrested Callum. They did do. And then they let him go. Turned up at a bistro earlier. What for? How should I know? Look, I'm sorry I hurt your son, but I had to do something. Well, of course you did. What were you thinking of in your state? Well, no, never mind in your state. In any state, what were you thinking? I was going to make sure justice was done, man. All right, chill out, Batman. Look, let the coppers do the job, yeah? Well, they're not doing, are they? Hey? Otherwise, he won't be wandering around free as a bird. Please, will you tell him? I've told him. Why do you think he hurt himself? Me trying to grapple the flaming crowbar. Oh, yeah, you wouldn't have been doing that if I wasn't injured. Oh, injured or not. I swear I will knock you out and tie you up if that's what it takes to keep you safe. Do you not realise I thought I'd lost you a couple of weeks ago, you stupid boy? You are not going to put me through that again. Get it? Got it. Good. Oh, I'm sorry, Roy. Startled me. I was more than startled. I mean, nearly took off. That was dead naughty of me. Here. Oh. Couldn't resist. Thank you. Oh. Shall we sit down? It's, it's certainly. Hmm. Hmm. Oh. Brings back so many memories, this place. Indeed. You come here often. Oh, look at me. Sounds like a chat-up line. M many times o over the years. You think the ballroom? I have. It's beautiful, isn't it? A, a, a magnificent piece of late Victorian architecture. I always wanted to dance up there. Uh, two left feet, me. Where is he? Where's he? Don't play dumb, Gemma. It doesn't suit you. Don't suit what I'm saying. It suits you perfectly. He's not here! I haven't seen him in ages. Do you know, I don't believe a word that comes out of that face. You know he's out on bail? He's out? Yeah, he's out. So when you see him, tell him I'm looking for him. She just can't resist having a little digs. Who, Anna? Oh, you just don't see it. You just think the best of everyone, you. You're too soft. No, I'm not. Please, whenever we watch Jurassic Park, you feel sorry for the dinosaurs. Well, they're only following their instincts. Oh, what did Anna say, anyway? Oh, she was just going on about Gary and her next door having some fancy wedding and said we only chose the bistro because it was cheap. Well, it was. Hmm. Yeah, but it's not for her to say, is it? Do you know, I'm not surprised Owen left her the way she carries on. <laughs> That's rich. Sophie, I've just remembered I need a little ham bringing the sheets in. Hey, I've got another job on Balaclava Terrace in a bit. It'll only take an hour or so. Will you be ready by then? Well, you want me to look gorgeous, don't you? You're always gorgeous to me, love. Oh, he's a fast learner. 
I thought you might like to see what we've done with the garden. Yeah, Gary said you spent a lot of time out here. <laughs> well, the chickens obviously need a lot of care. Uh, let me just take this, and then I'll uh, introduce you. That's lovely. <laughs> Hello. Hey. Enough of your snidey comments, please. All I did was see you as a fast learner. You know exactly what I'm talking about. Your little dig about your dad. Oh, that's rich. He just slipped out. Yeah, well, thank God Tim didn't hear how he might slip out and all. Do you want that? Oh, Mum, you are such a hypocrite. How so? Going on about Anna and how common she is, and but she's not the one who's going around kissing her ex-husband, is she? What has that got to do with anything? Because you slag everyone off. Well, you're not exactly Miss Perfect yourself. Well, I apologise that I don't have your scent right quality, Sophie, and I shall try and be more generous with my opinions in the future. <sighs> In return, can you please keep your big gob shot about me kissing your dad? Should we have a nice evening together? Sorry about that. I hope you weren't bored. No, not in the slightest. <laughs> this one, this one here is Halima. Oh, you like it? I mean, what do they think we are? A pair of kids that need our heads banging together. Yeah, it's ridiculous. It's insulting, what it is. The church is not that far away, you know. <sighs> Leeds ain't that far away. Liverpool ain't that far away. Jersey's practically France. Oh, so you've been looking it up a bit. Only have interest. Well, you know what? At least it'll give you and Michelle somewhere new to go on holiday. <sighs> yeah, it's not just that, you know. It's... Everybody leaves me in the end. Dad, Andy, you. Uh, dozen ex-wives. <laughs> my track record, it wouldn't surprise me. When we eventually get out of here, my mum's flown to Spain, Michelle's gone to Ireland and Rovers joined the circus. Maybe it's not so much people leaving, but you insisted on staying put. That is philosophical. What else? Uh, if a tree falls down in the woods and there's no one round to hear it, does it still make a noise? <laughs> <laughs> Life is all about change, mate. I've got to give this a chance for Andrea's sake, and nothing would make me happier than for you to give me your blessing. Well, I'm sorry, mate. I can't do that. What I can do, though, make you a margarita if we can find some tequila. Hello? You two made up in there, or what? No! No, we haven't. So you might as well let me out, cos I'm not going to talk to this slack-jawed moron ever again. No, and I'm never going to speak to this cloth-eared idiot ever again. Right, fine. You can stay in there all night, then. Yeah, but it suits me. Yeah, they know. That's what it is. Mm. Can't leave them in there forever, you know. How long do you reckon we should give them? Well, if they've not made friends now, I doubt they ever will. Come on, of course they will. I could double that, them two. Markham and Wise. Laura Lenardi. Rod Hull and Emu. <laughs> Which one's Emu? <laughs> Callum could be waiting to kill us and we're putting up bunting. Oh, well, at least if he attacks us, it'll be in a festive environment. What do you want to do? Do you want to get on a plane to Italy? We could call the police. They might be able to put us in witness protection. We've seen too many films. How can you be like this? After everything he's done. Look what he did to Jason, what he did to you. Look, just act normal. It's like Nick said. The police are out after him now. He's going to be banged up again before we know it, I promise. Hey, Good little worker, eh? Oh, she can be. Mm. Well, you want to earn yourself some pocket money, you can help me make the sandwiches, cos I hate making sandwiches. How much? Bethany. Very wise. Tenner. But you have to make all the tuna fish ones because they ate tuna fish. Cool. <laughs> right, let's get started. Well, they're not replying to any of my texts. Mm. Children, the pair of them. Mm. Have you seen David? No, what's up? He's gone after Callum. What do you mean, why? He wants to 
I don't know, sort him out. Sort him out? He came round before, Callum. He said he wants 20 grand tonight and he's doing a runner. Well, where's David meant to get that sort of money from? I know, but Callum's desperate. He's not thinking straight. Well, so is David if he thinks he's going up against Callum. Oh, he's threatened all sorts if he doesn't get his money. And now David says he's going to finish it, whatever that means. He won't answer his text or anything. <sighs> we need to get hold of him. I'm trying. The way Callum is right now, if them two see each other, David's going to end up dead or in jail. Where are the kids? Talk them to your grands. I need the loo. Did you last leave day of? A severe beating. I don't know why you couldn't go and get it yourself. Denton knows where I live, plus I could get rearrested any minute. Did David mention the cash? No. So you're really just doing one? With the cops and Denton on my back, damn right I am. Well, David didn't look like he wanted to wish you happy travels. Forget him. My Kylie's come through just like I knew she would. Get out. See you then. Yeah, it's been fun. Don't I at least get one last freebie for helping you out? Check the flat. There'll be loads of bits and pieces hidden about. Think of it as a treasure hunt. Now, go on. Well, where are you going? Anywhere I like. Will you just let me know how you're getting on? Fine, if it means you get out of the car. <laughs> Look at us, mate. Eh? Locked in the cellar of a pub like two princes in the town. Oh, hey, man, they didn't have a free bar, though, did they? <laughs> hey, come on, yeah. <laughs> what are we like, man? Eh? Me with me dicky ticker. <sighs> Me with me dodgy brain. Yeah, dodgy brain. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we need is a cowardly lion. We could gang up with Dorothy. <laughs> We're, We're off to, to see, see the, the wing wizard, wizard, the wonderful wizard of Oz. Because, 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 because. You plank. Steve? Are you all right, mate? I'm going to throw. <laughs> Oh, where's my phone? Yeah, about half past. All right, see you then. Right, can I make you a brew or I can open some mulligatawny soup if no, you're peckish? I'm fine, Mum. About some toast? Mum, we just stop fussing? I'm gonna go for a bath anyway. All right, well, I'll run it for you. Mum, please, just leave me alone. Just go to Lloyd's party. I need the peace and quiet anyway. Uh, yeah, Mum, just leave him. He's fine, yeah? He's clearly not fine. I could get my hands on Callum. Hi, Lloyd. Yeah, I'm waiting for Michael. Hey? Never mind her getting her hands on Callum if I had my way. Just say the word. What? Well, I'm just saying, if you need help sorting Callum, just let me know. I've got to go to the pub. What's up? Can you um, keep an eye on your brother? Yeah, sure. Why, uh, what happened? I thought Lloyd's party wasn't till later. There won't be a party at this rate. Beautiful time of the day, isn't it? Indeed. Late afternoon is revered as a magical time of day in many cultures. I bet because all the screaming kids have gone home. <laughs> it is wonderful to listen to the sound of nature in its rawest form. The crash of the waves, the cry of the seabirds. Those sounds and 
Well, this vista has barely changed since time in the mind. Give or take a line or two. Roy. Yes? There's something I want to say to you. Feel free. Come on. I'm sorry? Well, you can't come to Blackpool and not have a paddle. <laughs> We don't want to miss our train. Oh, will you stop banging on about the flaming train? It's like being in a never-ending episode of Thomas the Tank Engine. <laughs> Come on, two minutes, in and out. Come on. Come on, Roy. <laughs> oh, this will put hairs on your chest. <laughs> Roy? Roy? Hello. I'm at the dog and gun. No, there's no sign of him anywhere. That's the last place he'd be with Denton after him. Just come back here, yeah? I'm at the Rovers with Sarah and Bethany. Yeah, we're fine. Or at least we will be when you get back here. Oh, thank God. Good. Right. See you soon. Is he on his way back? Yeah. Idiot. Are they still in the cellar? Hang on, is who still in the cellar? Lloyd and Steve. Lloyd and Steve, what are they doing in the cellar? Um, well, we were trying to get them talking. Yeah, Steve's still upset that me and Lloyd are back together and he thinks he's hurting you somehow. <sighs> he's not still milking that, is he? <laughs> the only reason our Steve is upset is because his best mate is moving away. Yeah, we know. Well, Lloyd rang me, Steve's sick. Yeah, we've had a few texts saying the same thing, haven't we? Yeah, I mean, they'll try anything to get out there apart from makeup. Mm. And they sound like they've been drinking. Surely not. Locked in a beer cellar all afternoon. Exactly. It's like locking a dog in a butcher's. Go and check on them. Oh. She'll be fine. Well, let's hope so, lady. What a daft stump. Oh. Take them through, love, and just put them on that table there, right at the back. Yeah, sure. Thanks for all your help today, Bethany. No problem. Why don't I carry on with the food? Ah, uh, yeah, cheers. Uh, Bethany, can you help with the cutlery? Yeah. I just need to nip home and get my charger. Oh, right. Well, make it sharpish, then. We're going to be chocker in a bit. Oh. 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 oh, Steve. Oh. Steve. Oh. Hey, leave Come him in. alone. He's trying to wake him up, not put him in a coma. Uh, stop it, Karen. Karen? Blimey, how much has he had? I can't believe you've let him drink so much. He's on tablets. Which is probably why it wasn't a good idea to lock us in a stinking basement full of booze for half the day. Should we get him in back? I think we should call a doctor. Oh, come on, he doesn't need a doctor. Yeah, he's just bladded. Mm. I've seen him like this a million times. Mm. Just needs to sleep it off. Come on, Steve. <laughs> no, I have to tell him I'm all right, Lloyd. I'm fine. Come on, mate, you just need a long lie down. No, <laughs> I can't miss your party. Oh, mate. <laughs> Flipping, eh? Come on! <laughs> Love you, boo boo. <laughs> Sorry, I've got to go. All the wedding talk get a bit much for you two. No, no, it's not that. It's just that I need to get changed and get over to Rise. I'm that behind. Uh, well, give them a bit, won't you? Well, you know, you should pop over and do it yourself. I'd love nothing more. But next on the agenda, table setting designs. <laughs> Can't miss that, can I? No. <laughs> I'll see you later. Bye. <laughs> see ya. You all right? Yeah, good. Are you just finishing now? Yeah. Flyman, you always work this late. Yeah. Some customers like to be at home when I'm working. Why? I don't know. So they can watch me like a hawk and tell me that I've missed a bit of snow. Oh. <laughs> I don't mind work's work. I see. When did you become such a grafter? I don't know. It's literally crept up on me. <laughs> Listen, I've just dropped your decorations off at the cafe. Ah, oh, cheers. Yeah, good. But Mary mm -hmm. said to make sure that you got your key because she had to close early. She had to go home. She had hay fever or something. Hey, her face had blown up. She looked like one of them Ribena berries off the adverts. Oh, you are joking, miss. So she's not in there now? No, she left when I left. 
You go to Lloyd's leaving do it at the Rovers later. Oh, I yeah, I've got now else on ever. I can't wait. Where's Kylie? She's not here. <sighs> I'll wait. She's not coming. Yeah, she is. So why don't you make yourself scarce, eh? We've got business to discuss. I told you she's not coming. It's me that texted you. From her phone. Now, why would you do something as stupid as that? And head to itv.com slash Corrie for exclusive access to the rehearsals for this Wednesday's live episode at 7.30. Well, we've new crime drama for you this week with a stellar cast, Midwinter of the Spirits, here Wednesday at 9. Back to tonight and times are tough for the doc. The new series of Dot Martin continues next. <laughs>